getting a little bit of a late start because the gal who's spelling me for the weekend was having her bridal shower at the gun club, to which I can only say God bless Western Colorado. Winter conditions are forecast for the high country and I'm kind of excited about the prospect. The Maverick is a damn fine convenience store and a good place to get gas and stock up for tomorrow's breakfast. I was torn about whether to stay low and look for my first bear of the year or go high and have a full winter trip. Daylight finds me at Snowline and coincidentally at a trailhead I'd never taken before. So high it is. Whenever I spend the night at the trailhead I always try to have enough stuff in the car to wear the next day that I don't have to unpack my backpack at all before I hit the trail. This uh, trail, I've always been curious about this trail behind me, but uh, there's always a lot of Subarus parked here, so I've never once taken it. Um, this time of year I'll have it to myself, so I think I'm going to take a look, but uh, I haven't even really looked at it on a map to see where it went. Switch over to snowshoes did not take long at all. The beavers couldn't uh, quite get this thing dragged in, but Kremlin, you got to admire them for trying. This time of year, the uh, elk are a couple thousand feet lower where everything's greening up, but I guess not all of them. I've come a fair piece, and weather's starting to come in over the mountains. It's time to stomp out a tent platform, get my camp set up, and log her in for the rest of the day. The most efficient way to feed a wood stove is to fell a standing dead snag, bucket into wood stove lengths, and then baton the lengths into splits of varying diameters. Late afternoon is blustery and well spent in a snug tent. It does clear up right around dusk long enough for me to post up and watch the clouds play across the mountains. Morning comes with cold temperatures, a skiff of new snow outside, and a sheath of frost on the inside of my tent. Starbucks Via Packets are the answer for the coffee drinking backcountry traveler. 
I have one nearly every morning I'm in the back country. There's no shortage of deer and elk about down in the lower country, and I take my time making my way out to the nearest town. Hotchkiss is home to the High Tower Cafe. I first ate here in 1994 after a fire. It's changed hands since then, but the new owner is a heck of a good cook and makes strudels. I always take a couple to go just to make sure that my family is happy to see me. Of course, I'm happy to see them, and the miles go smoothly as I make my way back down the valley.